Hey there, this is MathCamp321, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the derivative of an exponential function that has a base other than e. So to start, let's recall that the derivative of an exponential function with base e would be the following. The derivative of e to the u would be e to the u times u prime. So let's take a look at the next problem and see how, if the base is not e, how that's going to be a little bit different. And again, we're going to structure this like a two-column proof from geometry. Suppose you wanted to find the derivative for y equals 5 to the x. So let's start with the given, y equals 5 to the x. Our first step is to take the natural log of both sides. Our next step would be to use the power rule for logs on the right-hand side. Our next step is to focus on the right-hand side, rewrite with the constant out in front. Now let's remember that ln5, if you were to type it in on your calculator, is just a number, it's just a constant, so I'm going to write that out in front. Now just a quick side note, if I said to you that y is equal to 3x and I wanted to find the derivative, something really, really basic, the derivative would just be y, equal, y prime is equal to 3. So that's the same sort of thing that we have over here, and that's what we're going to do in our next step, is to actually take the derivative. But we're going to take the derivative with respect to x. So when taking the derivative of a natural log expression, the argument goes in the denominator, and its derivative goes in the numerator. And then when we focus on the right-hand side, it's a situation just like we have up here. So the derivative over here is just going to be ln5. Our next step will be to cross multiply. And our next step is to substitute. And we're going to substitute in for y. And we're told what y is right here in the beginning. So we're going to make that substitution. And finally, in step 8, it says to rewrite with any constants out in front. And once again, ln5 is just a constant. So our final statement in number 8 is the derivative of y equals 5 to the x. Let's see if we can generalize this off to this side in this little margin here. So let's say I wanted to take the derivative of a to the x. So instead of 5, we're going to generalize that with a. What we ended up getting was the natural log of the base times a restatement of the original problem. So this is our generalized rule for taking the derivative of an exponential function with a base other than e. Let's go on to the second slide. So once again, to generalize, if we're trying to take the derivative of an exponential function whose base is not e, and let's call that base a, then we end up getting the natural log of that base times a restatement of the original problem. But this begs the question, what if the exponent were something more complicated than just an x? So let's see how to tackle that on the next slide. So in question number two, we're asked to find the derivative of another exponential function whose base is not e. In this case, it's 8. But this time, the power is something a little bit more complicated than just an x. It's a 3x. So let's do this proof to see what the outcome is going to be, and maybe we can create a generalized formula. So we'll start with y equals 8 to the 3x, and we'll start by taking the natural log of both sides. In step 3, we'll use the power rule for logs to bring that 3x down in front. In step 4, we'll focus on the right-hand side and place all the constants out in front. In step 5, we'll take the derivative of both sides with respect to x. In step 6, we'll cross-multiply. In step 7, we'll substitute, placing the originally stated function y equals 8 to the 3x in place of the y. And in step 8, we'll rewrite with any constants out in front. Now, up top, let's try to generalize what just happened. Let's say we wanted to take the derivative of a to the u. If we look at the answer that we just got, it looks like we'll start with the derivative of the exponent times the natural log of the base times a restatement of the original problem. So this appears to be the generalized rule if the exponent is something more complicated than just an x. Let's go on to the next slide. 
On this slide, I'd like to reiterate the rule of taking the derivative of an exponential function when the base is not e and the power is generalized as being just u. In this case, we're going to take the derivative of the exponent. We're going to multiply by the natural log of the base. And then we'll restate the problem. Let's go on to the next slide. In the first four slides, we talked about taking the derivative of an exponential function with base other than e. Now we're going to talk about finding the antiderivative. So this poses the question, what if you wanted to go backwards? So in blue, we'll see our first point. To fit the template of the derivative rule, what is missing from the integrand? Let's take a moment and write down the basic derivative rule. It equaled the natural log of the base times a restatement of the problem. So if we wanted to go backwards here, we need to have this present in the integrand. And you'll notice in this problem here, we, we are missing the ln 5. But that's just a constant, so this is what we're going to do. Our original problem, as stated, is 5 to the x dx. But to make this integrand form fit with this, it's missing the ln 5. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in, ln 5. But because I've put in a constant, I need to counter that by multiplying by its reciprocal. The net effect of including this and including its reciprocal, it's like multiplying by 1. It's like I haven't changed the problem at all, but it makes it form-fitting to our rule. So we can actually complete the antiderivative by saying 1 over ln 5. And if we go backwards from here to here, we're just going to get times 5 to the x. And then, of course, it's plus c. And we can write this as a single fraction in the following way. And now let's generalize this. If we're trying to take the antiderivative of an exponential function whose base is not e, we're going to end up getting a restatement of the integrand divided by the natural log of the base plus c. So in this video, we learned how to differentiate and integrate exponential functions with base other than e.